Welcome back crew, this is Happy Days and here we are continuing with our 7 Days to Die Let's Play. So I've been in the process of harvesting up some resources and we've gotten quite a bit of stuff which is really good. I just wanted to show you the pickaxe being used is insanely quicker. As you can see, super quick at harvesting stones. Um, and the fire axe for cutting trees is also quite a deal quicker. Uh, it takes about six or seven swipes, roughly. Um, and is a really quick way to collect large volumes of wood. So that's pretty much what I've been doing throughout the day. So just looking for wood and iron and collecting those rocks up. Um, so like this, no, you got to hit it in a sweet spot, there we go. So it's just given us lots and lots of both of the resources that we've needed. Uh, I'll just get one more tree perhaps. And then it's sort of, once you've gotten to this stage, it's sort of up to you what you want to start doing. You could really start building bases from scratch from here because wood isn't really an, uh, an issue anymore. Being able to cut down trees this fast uh, gives you pretty much unlimited wood. Um, you can see I'm up to 61 logs which makes almost 1,000 wooden planks. Um, so yeah, I think what I'll do for now is we fortify, uh, what's going on there? Uh, I've got seeds, ah oh, 64 must be a maximum pile. I'll turn that into some more scrap iron. Yeah, must be 64 max pile of wood logs. That's okay. Okay, I started planting uh, some trees just around the front here. That's uh, good practice, these are these things here. These darker green immobile, uh, they're actually seeds planted in. And it's good practice just to be planting. Uh, you just right click the ground in a fairly blank spot. Um, as you're cutting down trees, it's good just to be replanting as you go. Similar to Minecraft, I suppose. You know, if you just keep digging everything up, you're gonna end up with no resources around. Okay, so it's currently five o'clock. Um, we seem to have cleared out most of the zombies, which is good. Yep, they've disappeared for the most part. Uh, finally, after all that fighting we did, and there was a bit of fighting, that's for sure. Um, I also had a look around here. Um, you can look along hillsides once you've got your pickaxe. And you can start to, there was a bit of coal in there that I mined out. So you can sort of just move along, see if you can see anything good. Uh, I thought that was some iron for a sec. Okay, it looks like we got most of it. Yeah. But for example, you can sort of go up to a bit and start mining away at the rocks. You can use it to collect stone too. And stone can be used for a few things. You can change it into small stones. So it's a really quick way to collect small stones rather than picking them all up off the ground one by one. You can also, uh, this brownish mixture here is dirt, which is actually easier to collect with the old axe. Uh, so if you want to get some more dirt and clay, you can sort of work at it does take a little while but you can uh, eventually get some out. So there's some clay there and clay is used to make the lumps of clay which is useful for making moulds in this menu here. So I've already made the iron mould but for example I have some scrap lead so you could start making lead moulds and things like that. I'll just get, make some room for it. There we go. And now we have a lead mold as well, which means we can start melting lead pieces. 
So some people, they make a forge for each type of mold or make multiple ones. That's a good way to quickly collect everything. Okay, it's getting on in the day a bit, so we might make our way back upstairs and start setting up for the night. And it looks like the door got broken. So let's see, what can I get rid of? There we go, some more scrap lead. Just need to change one of these into planks and make a new door. I think I can hear a zombie. I think. Yeah, I can definitely hear a zombie now. Uh, it's secure wooden door, I'm pretty sure. I think periodically the zombies respawn. Uh, which is why you want to replace things like doors and that. It does block a bit of noise and so on and so forth. Okay, let's make our way back up to the roof. Alrighty. Yes, I can definitely hear zombies. Okay, so for example, we can take out our iron mold and put in our lead mold. Put in things like scrap lead and use some more coal to get it fired up. I don't know if this is enough to make one lead ingot, but we'll see. Uh, this is some junk. Okay. Uh, all the bottled water's finished cooking. Uh, 15 is the max stack for water. So we can start storing some. Uh, what else could we be cooking? We could do some boiled eggs. Now, unfortunately for boiled eggs, you need to use your fresh water, which is a touch annoying. But it is a simple way to get food too. So it's up to you if you think it's worth it. I think it's a little bit wasteful, but hey, uh, that don't take long at all. Are they cooking? There we go. So eggs cook pretty quickly and they are safe to eat once you've boiled them. So go to seven here. They provide a bit of fullness, but they also uh, restore a bit of health as well, which is very useful. And you can cook them in big batches. Bit wasteful water-wise, but hey, it's just an extra source of food that you can easily make. Okay, we've got a lead ingot, which is cool. Uh, what we might do is swap back to our iron mold. Is that the one? No, that's the lead one again. Okay, we've got some iron ore, which will make a few ingots by the looks of it. It'll make two. Oh, so capacity three. So 6.0 would make two. All right, beautiful. So that's making them now. All right, we've also got these iron fragments, which we might turn those into scrap iron and then just put all the scrap iron in here. Can we put this on top? Beautiful. So there you go, we're gonna get quite a few ingots out of this. Which will let us make lots and lots of tools. So let's make sure there's plenty of coal in there. Beautiful. That's just gonna cook away. Uh, 21 roughly. Get about six or seven more ingots out of that. Which is nice. Now the eggs are finished cooking. So that did hit our water supplies a bit, unfortunately. And probably not something I'll do a lot of because it does seem to destroy the glass jars too. So not the best sort of source of food. Unless there's a better way to cook them that I'm not sure of. I'm pretty sure you can make bacon and eggs or something. Okay, so food stores are up. Yeah, let's see if there's any animals just walking around out there that I could quickly hunt. Uh, it's looking like a no. Let's have a little look around here. Okay, no zombies at the moment. Even though I... Is that a pig? Can I get a second shot off? I think I missed it. 
Hmm, this could be good to quickly go investigate. Yep, that's happily cooking away. Alright, let's go investigate quickly. Plus, I can hear one zombie somewhere. There's the pig. And where's the zombie? I can hear it, I just can't see it. Piggy. There it is. Let's see, just stop moving for a second, you little bugger. Ah, how much health has it got? Gotcha. Nice one. Alright, let's quickly get this pig skinned and whatnot before... We don't have long before the zombies get powered up. Alright, don't need the bones, I find them somewhat useless. Unless there's a use for them I'm not sure of. Okay. Well, there's a zombie somewhere, maybe they're the ones in the pool from before. That's okay, I can live with that. I'll get up on the roof and see if we can see the pool zombies. Might be able to take some pot shots at them. Are they... Don't fall off the roof, please. Ooh. Can we see zombies in the pool? Oh, you know what they might be doing? Sometimes they burrow right underneath. They could actually be digging a tunnel over here, which would be hilarious. Hmm. Ah, there's a supply crate over in the distance too. Okay. So, let's have a look here. So all the ingots are finished. That's good. Have I got anything else I can put in? Not at the moment. No, we're good. I'm pretty sure. Let's just make sure there's nothing else we can quickly turn into... What's lead turn into? Buckshot. Ah, for like bullets and stuff I assume. Okay, that's cool. Um, digga 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 dim. Nope. So let's take out the excess coal. So we're not wasting it. Alright, let's put the pork in here. Get this fired up again. Now to make boiled por pork you do need water. There we go, that's cooking away. Only needs about a minute cook time. And yes, that will use more water. What we might do is make a storage container. Um, because if you do have smelly food, if you put it in a container, uh, it means the zombies can't smell it. So let's get set up. Let's just put one here for now. Beautiful. We can also put some of our extra materials in here, like molds, uh, coal. I can put some of the clay in here. Coal is like coal ore is like a longer burning lump of coal. Uh, the beaker can be used to make alcohol with. Let's put some of this extra stuff. Ingots I'll keep on me for now. Alright, anything else? Let's get scrap iron. Oh, I'll just keep it on me for now. This buckshot I can keep, keep till I make some weapons up. Okay. So there's some boiled pork. So now we have some food stores as well. So we've got some food, it'll be safe in there. I wouldn't mind learning how to make uh, some extra glass jars actually. Now I haven't found the recipe that tells me how to cut up animal hides yet, so I'm just going to have to store them for now. Uh, the blood bag can save, the nitrate, uh, the coffee is used to make like an energy boost drink. Alright, that's pretty good. We're doing alright. So yeah, as I was explaining, now's sort of the time where you 
you can do as much or as little as you want sort of thing now. So we can make some coal torches, very similar to Minecraft, coal, coal on the top, stick on the bottom, and light, light up this area a bit. Let's get a bit of light on the subject. You can have minimal lighting without any negative consequence from what I can tell. Noise seems to be the worst thing uh, for attracting zombies. So as long as you're quiet, it's not too bad. Okay, so this is getting a bit better. So I just need to harvest the rest of this uh, ore here, the iron parts. Actually, I didn't... Oh, I was going to say if I'd gotten some cotton, I could have made... No, I could have made the sleeping bag too. Okay, so yeah, as I was explaining, this is sort of the time now where you can start to think about upgrading your base. Um, making the other moulds, things like that. You can make window moulds. Uh, the jar mould is something I do want to make. So let's get out. Oh, I was just saying I wanted to make them. How's that? Uh, the clay. Jar mould. What? Oh, duh, you need to put... Uh. <laughs> oh, I forgot to put the glass jar in the middle. I made another iron mould. Whoopsies. Well, now I have two. Which is useless, you only need one. Okay, scrap that. <laughs> oh, gosh. That's okay. So what I might do next is... I guess we could make our own place uh, in a better location from scratch, make it out of like wooden stuff. Although, this is kind of where the game gets a bit, you know, can you be bothered sort of thing. Like, this is pretty safe up here. Um, just notice the timer in the top left corner, how quickly it's going now, it's night time. So, yeah. I uh, could make some golden rod tea. Might as well show you how to do that if you're not sure yet. Just need one water, one goldenrod flower, and I'll just put... No, need something else to burn. Oh, goodness me. Let's get a piece of coal quickly. Might as well keep some coal on me, I suppose. There we go. And it's good just to carry one of these around if you need to drink polluted water. You can quickly scoff this goldenrod tea. It'll make you all better again. Here we go. Almost done. Lovely. So, where, where to from here? I think what we'll do is actually go out exploring in the world. Now that we've got this safe base here. And... Doing pretty good considering we've hardly travelled anywhere. Uh, if we travel east along this road we might find some more locations and uh, try and find some more blueprints to make more stuff. Alright, thanks for watching guys. Uh, leave a like and a comment, uh, especially if you've got some advice for me as well on other things I could be doing. Uh, we're pretty sufficient uh, water and food wise now. Um, I guess, yeah, we're up, for, we're ready for the next challenge, making some guns and really getting exploring. Okay, see you next time. This is Happy Days signing out.